Sugarbuggers, welcome back to the channel for a brand new mod review. So today you guys, we are going to be checking out a micro mod created by Sigma on ModTheSims.com and it is the Collectible Collectibles mod. I know that sounds a little redundant, but let me explain. The reason why I wanted to do an individual showcase on such a tiny mod is because I really do believe it deserves the spotlight. Not to mention, this mod in particular is going to be such a game changer for a lot of the collectors out there, especially, especially. If you're doing like 100 baby challenge, rags to riches, or maybe even like generations where you have a full house and you just don't have the time to take your ojitos off your family for even a freaking split second because you know, you know little Timmy is going to catch the house on fire. You feel me? You catch the vibe. All right. So basically our sim here, um, Annalise, she is finishing up her large classic painting. But before I have her finished, which she is doing a fantastic job, by the way, um, I did want to show you guys the brand new interface. So when you click on your sim you will now see a pie menu that says collect collectibles it's very simple you have two different options you can collect frogs or you can collect rocks another option i would have loved to have seen added to this menu is the ability to harvest all now i know if you go and you click on a bush you can literally select it yourself but just because it's already here i feel like it'd be really really convenient just to have this option directly in this menu as well but we're gonna go ahead and have our sim anna go collect some rocks so once you select that option you you will have every single one of the available, I guess, rocks that you can collect pop up in your timeline. So your sim will, you know, autonomously or not autonomously, but automatically go um, and find those items without you really having to do much at all. So I don't know if it's going to go for the closest or the furthest. I'm not really 100% um, sure. Also, another thing that the creator has mentioned is if your sim is in a relatively large space, you may just have to perform um, this interaction a few times so Anna has located her very first find and she's gonna go ahead and start digging um, now I'm wondering if this wor also works for fossils too um, I'm not sure if it does or maybe fossils are actually in the rocks um, that is something I'm a little curious to know so we're gonna have her go and uh, find the rest of these bad boys here and I guess we'll find out okay Anna is on her very last collectible and I think this is the one that harbors um, fossils and things of that sort I'm not sure but maybe possibly nope just kidding she ended up actually discovering a mysterious time capsule and because she has worked up such a thirst she's gonna go get a glass of water another option I would love to be added to the menu is the ability to find and locate these little dirt piles. Now earlier I was questioning where the fossil rocks come from because for the longest time I actually thought they came from those rocks themselves but it appears that nine times out of ten or more often than not um, they come from the little dirt piles. Now I don't know if these dirt piles are exclusive to Jungle Adventure or this is something that the game just had before. I'm not 100% sure but if there was an ability for us to be able to like also hunt these down with this mod I think that would be really cool too um but obviously you don't just find you know fossils in in the little dig piles you could also find like common upgrade parts and yada 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 um so just you know a little food for thought so the last one <laughs> is the collect frogs option which it doesn't look like there's any frogs in this area so it's not going to work Anna has decided to take a little bit of a break from collecting to enjoy a nice little skate at the roller rink on this beautiful Tuesday afternoon. Now we are here at the former Mongolian Park. Um, I am currently playing in a, bl a blank, a blank save at the moment. So there's like literally no structures at all whatsoever. So let's go and have Anna collect frogs really quick. Now there are three to be found. Um, the first one I did notice like a little while ago it was behind the uh, roller rink here. And then the other two, I'm not actually quite sure. This is a super duper duper huge space. Also side note, um, Anna is this little bit of a squeamish sim she's not like huge into frogs or anything slimy like slugs or worms or anything quite like that but you know she is she's gonna see it through she's fully committed um to this mod review however she is experiencing a nauseated mod which is really interesting because i wonder if she's gonna like throw up on the freaking park path but we're gonna have her go and kind of truck through i have no idea where this other oh there it is that's actually a really good spot um it's down here and 
it says Anna's too comfortable, uh, too uncomfortable to um, collect this, but we're going to have her go and grab it anyway. Uh, that would have been a really hard spot to find, easily overlooked, um, especially by me because it's kind of like in this, you know, little, 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 little cove here. All right, so she's sick again. Obviously, her searching for frogs is not her favorite thing, um, but I do believe there was one more. All right, so we have one last in final uh, frog to collect, and then I, I can already tell um, there are a bunch of uh, other collectibles as well. This is actually really fun. I mean, I love searching on occasion, and the cool thing about this mod is obviously it doesn't take that away from you, so if you still like searching, you can do that. There's going to be new collectibles every single day, so it's not something that, like, by doing it, you're really taking anything away from gameplay it's just convenient especially if you're in a time crunch or you just want to you know show up get it done that type of a thing um it's definitely it's definitely really 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 convenient all right so she is feeling a little bit better now that we've gone ahead and stopped collecting for frogs i am going to have her go um and collect rocks so it will queue up i think i'm not sure i think it queues only up to like six or ten I'm not sure if it's six or ten. I, I want to say it's six. So like, for instance, if you have more than seven collectibles in the um, area that you're searching, you will again have to run this more than once to be able to obtain all of them. So I'm going to have Anna go and collect the last and final um, collectibles that she has. OK, so obviously it can be in the little it can be in the little dirt piles or it can actually be on the um the uh the the rocks themselves where you can find fossils and things that's actually really cool okay awesome but still really do want an option to be able to like hunt for the little dirt piles and then also um kind of like a one-stop shop to be able to also harvest the plants and whatnot anna has just returned home from a long day of collecting and my oh my has she worked up a hunger so right now she is going to prepare a little garden salad apparently in the bathroom um this house also fyi was created by kayla aka ah. little Simsy. Uh, apparently, there isn't enough counter space, which is kind of silly because typically, even with these items up there, your Sims can still use the counters. But of course, you know, Anna just wants to be finicky. So I'm going to let her do what she's got to do. Um, if we take a little peek, CDC, in her inventory, you will see her clutch for the day. She found so many items, you guys. Honestly, I know that it sounds silly, but this mod is a 10 out of freaking solid 10. Like, I'm thinking about about how many times I have literally just grown exhausted from searching and this literally will cut the middleman out as I mentioned earlier it doesn't take away from the fact that if you want to do it yourself if you want to go and search for the um, items on your own you can but if you're busy in a time crunch or just can't be bothered this is perfect so in a nutshell you guys I think we are pretty much done with Boy, this mod know. review I'm pretty positive <laughs> also in addition that Anna is going to be eating her garden salad while she's also thinking about some Donald in the bathroom. So we found a lot of amazing items and honestly I don't feel like I'm missing out sometimes when I have my sims go collect or go and search for harvestables or whatever the situation might be. I feel like quite literally I've left a stone unturned and I feel very satisfied with everything that I got. So in a nutshell you guys that is the collectible collectibles mod. If you guys want to go ahead and check it out or download it for yourself I will go and provide a link in the description to the page where you can get it anyways you guys if there's anything else you would like to um add to the mod or any feedback you'd like to give my comment section is always open um and yeah i hope you all enjoyed the video and if you did you know what to do boo don't forget to go ahead comment and subscribe let me know what you guys think in the comments down below where the sun does not shine and i will see you all next time Bye, guys.